Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So as always on a Friday, we've got your month ahead look at. We're going to compare the Japanese and CFSB tomorrow to see what they are both showing uh, for the next um, month. And that takes us into the second half of October, of course. Later on this afternoon, we'll have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days uh, in detail. Uh, now, I've got a few problems with this uh, week's JMA Friday because the CFS hasn't updated. The CFS weeklies haven't updated since Wednesday. So the update we're going to be... Um uh, the update we're going to be doing for you uh, from the CFS for this JMA Friday uh, updated on Wednesday. I think you saw it on Wednesday, but you're going to see it again. Nothing else we can do. Unfortunately, the CFS website is not updated weekly at the moment. Hopefully, they'll get those updated uh, quite soon. So, we begin with the JMA. This is all up to date. Uh, this updated yesterday. Um, and it only updates once a week, by the way. Uh, so, this is how things look in terms of the 500 millibar height anomaly from the North Pole view down. That's the North Pole of the Arctic uh, there, of course. And uh, got mid latitudes uh, around there. Blue is extrapolated to low pressure, yellow, orange, and red to high pressure. These are broken down into two week periods. The first week period will take us from the 27th of uh, September through to be 4th of October. Looks unsettled. We've got blocking around Greenland and extending back into the Arctic. High pressures up there. Deep low pressure in the Atlantic. Coming across the Atlantic into the UK and the west of Europe too. The jet stream is on a bit of a southerly track doing something like that. We have got some ridging down towards um, down towards Spain actually. So uh, it's quite a westerly sort of setup. But with the northern blocking, uh, there is also a chance of pushing some cooler air, in, perhaps some colder air, into this trough of low pressure. Looks unsettled in the week ahead. This is how things looking for week two, still very unsettled. The blocking signal is easing uh, slightly, but it's still unsettled with below average heights uh, running in from the Atlantic, along with the jet stream uh, as well. The high pressure is down to our southwest. So again, looks westerly, looks unsettled. Uh, showers or longer spells of rain there for week two, taking us from the 4th through to the 11th of October. And then weeks three and four looking like this. It's the 11th through to the 25th of October. So we've got a trough of below average heights, low pressure in over Scandinavia. Perhaps a few little hints of some above average heights up towards Greenland. Uh, otherwise, near normal heights, we may be seeing uh, a general trend towards higher pressure, perhaps as we go into the second half of October. Although I wouldn't anticipate it would be particularly warm with this low pressure trough up here and a bit of a ridge over there, possibly extending down into the Atlantic too. I've got a feeling we may be pulling in some quite um, cool winds, maybe even fairly coldish winds from the north. It's a little bit uncertain, but it's a two-weekly anomaly, uh, so it could be transitional and uh, it's a relatively weak signal. But I would say probably drier, but maybe a bit colder as we go into the second half of October there. This is how a tropical and mid-latitude view is looking. So on this view, the British Isles is just here the type, um, in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. A reminder of the week one, 500 millibar height. And I'll be taking this from the 27th of September to the 4th of October. It's very unsettled. Low pressure is uh, coming in off the Atlantic. We've got some high pressure uh, down there. We can't see the North Pole uh, view on this, uh, on this view. We can't see the Arctic view. Uh, but we know we've got lots of high pressure going on up here, standing back there through Greenland in towards the Arctic, which is probably uh, embedding cooler air into that trough of low pressure at times. So a bit of a north-south split with the temperature anomaly in the week ahead. Uh, so Scotland is actually coming out with a rather colder than average week. England and Wales coming out with rather above average temperatures in the week ahead. The trend might be towards cooler conditions though as, uh, as the week progresses. And also unsettled, of course, with low pressure in control of the weather in the week ahead. It is going to be unsettled with above average rainfall coming up. In fact, it could be really quite a wet week uh, indeed. Oops, there we go through to week two. This takes us from the 4th to the 11th of October. Above average heights down to ourselves. Low pressure is still running in from off the Atlantic with the jet stream. We do see a reduced northern blocking signal. 
Temperature anomalies for week two, just slightly above average. It's not as warm in the south as it is in week one, but on the other hand, it's not as cool in the north as it is in week one either. So very close to average with the temperature anomaly and still rather than wetter than average too. It's not as wet as it is in week one, but still above average with rainfall. So the first uh, the first half of October looking really quite unsettled here and then we go through to weeks uh, three and four from the 11th to 25th of uh, october we've got a trough of low pressure in over scandinavia which again we can't see on this view uh otherwise there's not a lot else to be seen actually from the temperature anomaly perspective we could be going a little bit cooler here just a few hints perhaps for west of europe it's going a little bit cooler though overall the temperature is probably close to average but this could be something a little bit cooler going in the second half of october and precipitation wise so it's still a little bit wet average for scotland double wise perhaps a bit drier than average to uh, many parts of the country it looks like the trend to me in the second half of october there is towards drier but possibly somewhat colder conditions so this is what the CFS V2 was showing on Wednesday. And as I say, the CFS hasn't updated. Uh, it didn't update yesterday. And uh, unfortunately, it hasn't updated so far today. Hopefully, they'll get things going again at, uh, at the CFS website for the weeklies. Um, in the, next, uh, in the next few hours or the next day or two. But uh, up to when I'm recording the video, uh, quarter past 12 on Friday afternoon, 27th of September, there hasn't been an update with the CFS weeklies since Wednesday. So we can only show you Wednesday's um, uh, update. So this is what it's showing on Wednesday. This is from the 25th of uh, September to the 1st of October. The uh, week that we are currently in has above average heights around Greenland, low pressure in from off the Atlantic and high pressure down towards Spain. Perfect agreement there between uh, the CFS and the JMA for the first week actually. It's very unsettled. Um, and we've got the northern blocking to the north, which could entrench some cooler air into that trough of low pressure at times. Uh, week two, also uh, agreement between the JMA and CFS is 20th of October, uh, 2nd of October, I should say, to the 8th. Low pressure is in from off the Atlantic, looks unsettled. Uh, again, still some northern blocking up to the north, a little bit reduced compared to week one. Uh, that looks unsettled as well. Week 3 uh, was looking like this on Wednesday, the 9th to 15th of October, with uh, high pressure above average heights down to southwest, below average heights up to the northwest. Um, so, still a little bit on the unsettled side, especially over northern parts of the country in the south, probably becoming a little bit drier. And then week 4, which is the 16th to the 22nd of October, showing above average heights building to the east. Um, and that probably brings in a southeasterly type flow, which of course in the uh, second half of October could be warm if the air is originating from south of east, or it could be cool if the air is originating from the north of east. Temperature anomalies in weekend with the CFS V2 on Wednesday uh, were being forecast to be warm on average since 25th of September to 1st of October, uh, above average temperatures in uh, this week that we are currently in. Uh, then the temperature reduces into week two. This is the 2nd to the 8th of October, just ever so slightly above average. Certainly it's a cooler week compared to week one. Uh, week three also coming out cooler than average or close to average really but it's a cooler week compared to week one this is the 9th to the 15th of october close to average really with a uh, temperature anomaly maybe going a little bit warmer as we get through into week four with 16th 22nd of october close to average again for England and wales but a bit warmer than average for scotland uh, precipitation anomalies on Wednesday. CFS was forecasting on Wednesday, the 20, uh, for week one, which is 25th uh, of September, 1st of October, above average rainfall in the week that we are currently in. Uh, week two, which uh, is the 2nd to the 8th of October, also coming out to wetter than average. Week three is close to average, or was close to average, when this was generated on Wednesday. And week four, which is the 16th, the 22nd of October, also close to average. So uh, definitely looks like it's sort of the first week or so of uh, October, work the first week to 10 days, maybe even as much as the first half of October, going to be unsettled with showers along the spells of rain. We probably do have a bit of a trend here towards higher pressure the second half of the month, which could dry things out, but may turn things a little bit uh, colder as well. As I say, unfortunately, we haven't had an update from the CFS weeklies for a couple of days, and so this is an old 
update was generated in the middle of the week. And um, uh, that's the best we can do for you, though, uh, this week. These things do happen. We are reliant with these videos on other websites. Uh, we're reliant on those other websites to get the products updated. If they don't get the products updated, then we've got to use old and out-of-date data, which is what we've had to do for Jamie Friday this week. So sorry about that. Hopefully it will be back to normal. <laughs> Excuse me, we won't do Jamie Friday uh, next week. Right, so we'll be back later on this afternoon with your week's 10-day video update. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching.